Hi, hello everybody. So in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how we made some of this decor on our fireplace. Uh, that sign and that cage are included in this video and some tiered tray decor. So let's get right into okay, it. Okay, in this first DIY, I just took one of my old um, like porch leaner signs. This just says home on the back. I think it was like Easter-ish because it was pink and blue. Um, but anyway, I flipped it around and I just started painting it orange. This is the color terracotta from Dixie Belle. And I just kind of roughly got that on there. And then I used some of this Valspar antique wax and also just kind of roughly put that on there and just made it kind of streaky, but like I blended it so it didn't look, you know, funny. Um, and then when I got this done, I let it dry and then I took it back up top to my craft table and I started painting it with um, some spiders and spider webs and I'll show you here in a second the inspiration picture I had. Okay, so like I said, I had this inspiration picture I got on Google. I just typed in like spiders and spider web images and I just kind of went off of that and based like I just drew the web you know or painted i guess you could say i just kind of freehanded this but like i said went off of that picture and i mean this isn't like the world's best sign but like you know what i mean me and my daughter it was kind of her idea she wanted to paint spiders and spider webs on stuff and she wanted our decor this year to be really creepy so we just kind of i was just working with what i had you know and i didn't want to buy a bunch of stuff so anyway we make this i'll just let you watch me finish this up and I sped this part up like as fast as I could to where, you know, it's comfortable to watch and that doesn't like hurt your brain. <laughs> but anyway, let me know in the comments if you guys like watching through some of the painting stuff or if you'd rather me just fast forward it or like kind of cut it out to, to the end. I mean, I know everybody's different, but like let me know just because like sometimes it's hard to know what people want to see as far as that part goes. Cause, like I honestly, I kind of like watching it, but you know, I don't know. I don't know what people like. But let me know. Okay, so I got done with the web and then I just decided to paint a little spider down here in this corner. And I think I did three spiders on this whole sign and three webs in total. But I only showed you guys um, the, the one here because um, I did have to have my phone out for the other one. Um, so that's that. I'll show you guys the final product here in a minute. And then this here, I was just showing you guys this thrifted cage. My grandma actually gave me this to re redo for whatever I wanted. And I just spray painted it black with those random sprays black spray paints that I had they were like high heat and like a metallic but it worked out and I just there you go there's the whole look at everything together that I made on the fireplace and I got my daughter you know the creepy look she was wanting <laughs> I think anyway okay and then moving on to the next couple things these are all going to be for my tiered tray I actually cut out a couple extra here because I was going to make a few extra for like I was thinking about doing a craft show this fall but I don't think I'll get to do that but anyway I just cut down the board there this was just a scrap random wood board that I had I don't even know where I got it like I said I'm always trying to use up the stuff that's in my craft room especially lately I don't want to buy anything but anyway then I just sanded the edges of that because it was pretty rough okay and then I took the color sawmill gravy Dixie Belle and I used it to paint this board and oh right there i'm showing you guys that i took my scissors and cut that chip brush down because i have always just found that if i cut those that it's better for distressing um anyway so i started painting this with that color and my initial plan here was to just make it look real rough and distressed but this en ends up not being what i end up doing but anyway you can just see me painting this board here and then i take the the black color that I have here on hand is a really rough looking bottle, so don't judge me. I can never get the lid back on, so it's like dried out and then, <laughs> anyway. So I take that and I just paint this spooky sign and I just basically lightly dry brush it on there to give it like a real creepy, spooky, streaked up look like that. But I did the sawmill gravy color on the ghost and then I just played around with this for a minute till I got it looking how I thought it looked good. And then, like I said, so I tried that, the spooky sign. I set it on the sign, and I don't have that footage. I don't know where it went, but I set that on top of the paint, the sign that I painted right there that I'm painting right now. I set that on there, but it didn't stand out enough because the colors are too similar. And I just, I had too much black on the board there. 
So anyway, what I end up doing here in a second, I'll show you, is I paint this board right here. I paint it basically solid colored with the sawmill gravy. And then I just paint this, the sides black. And I just lightly, lightly, lightly distress it with black around like the corners and edges. Where it basically kind of just bleeds over from like what I do right here. So yeah, I just, this, this ends up working out much better. Okay, so then I set the sign down here, and you can see how it just pops off much better than it did on the, well, than it would have on the other one. I didn't show you guys that, but yeah, it looks good on there, and that's literally all I did to this, and then I just take some more paint, and I kind of touched it up from where I just kind of missed a few spots and whatnot, but yeah, that's all there was to this one, and then um, basically the next one, all I did was I take this wooden ghost plaque sign thing from Dollar Tree and I just painted it with the color sawmill gravy that I was just using and I get the whole ghost painted and then I take my black along the bottom the little pan the little part that you know makes it stand up and then I just also lightly dry brushed the whole thing with some black so it all you know vibed together oh and right there little tip when your paint is really old like mine is because I haven't been doing a lot of crafting lately take some water especially this kind of paint like chalk paint and add some water to it and it just goes on so much better in case you ever need to know that for any reason it just goes on so much better and then like I said these are going to go on my tiered tray and now looking back <laughs> I should have painted the back of this little guy um because you can like where I put the tiered tray you can see it so like yeah, I wish I would have. But anyway, then I just added a little bow. And it's turned out really cute on it. There's a look at it in my kitchen. The fly, I feel like, adds a nice Halloween touch too. Lovely. I should have took another picture, but I didn't even realize the fly was on there. And this was the only picture I got. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. And let me know what you think in the comments. Thank you.